Lithuania, located in the northeastern part of Europe, had a tumultuous history in the 20th century. It was caught between the ambitions of two major powers, Poland and Soviet Russia, both of which sought to dominate the region. 1. The interwar period. Following World War I, Lithuania declared its independence from Russia on February 16, 1918. However, this newfound independence was not recognized by the Soviet Union, which saw Lithuania as part of its territory. Additionally, Poland, which had been partitioned by Russia, Austria-Hungary, and Prussia in the late 18th century, had regained its independence and sought to expand its territory. As a result, Poland laid claim to Lithuania, as it had been a part of the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth in the past. The situation in Lithuania was further complicated by the fact that the country had a significant minority of Polish-speaking residents. These residents were concentrated in the eastern regions of Lithuania and had their own political organizations, which were allied with Poland. This created tensions between the Lithuanian government and the Polish-speaking minority as well as with the Polish government. Part 2. The Polish-Lithuanian War In 1919, Polish forces invaded Lithuania, claiming that they were liberating ethnic Poles who were being oppressed by the Lithuanians. The Lithuanian army was ill-prepared for the invasion, and the Poles quickly advanced, capturing Vilnius, the Lithuanian capital. The Lithuanian government fled to Kaunas, where it established a new capital. The Polish-Lithuanian War lasted for nearly two years and ended in a ceasefire agreement in 1920. Under the terms of the agreement, Vilnius was to be transferred to Lithuania, but the Polish government refused to comply. The city remained under Polish control, which created tensions between the two countries that persisted for many years. Part 3. The Soviet Invasion in 1940, the Soviet Union invaded Lithuania as part of its strategy to establish a buffer zone between itself and Germany. The Lithuanian government was forced to accept Soviet rule, and the country was incorporated into the Soviet Union as the Lithuanian Soviet Socialist Republic. During the Soviet occupation, Lithuania was subject to political repression and economic exploitation. Many Lithuanians were arrested, exiled, or executed for political reasons. Additionally, the Soviet government nationalized much of Lithuania's industry and agriculture, which led to economic stagnation and poverty. Part 4. The Path to Independence In the 1980s, a movement for Lithuanian independence began to gain momentum. This movement was largely inspired by the Soviet Union's weakening grip on Eastern Europe and the reforms being implemented by Soviet leader Mikhail Gorbachev. In 1988, the Lithuanian Communist Party began to distance itself from Moscow, and support for independence grew. In 1990, Lithuania declared its independence from the Soviet Union. This was met with resistance from Moscow, and in January 1991, Soviet forces attempted to seize control of Vilnius. The attempt failed, and Lithuania was able to establish its independence. Part 5. Conclusion The history of Lithuania in the 20th century was marked by conflict and instability. The country was caught between two major powers, Poland and Soviet Russia, both of which sought to dominate the region. Despite these challenges, Lithuania was able to establish its independence and maintain its sovereignty, becoming a member of the European Union and NATO.